thank you so much for taking our time to watch this little video, this documentary on the water bicycle. This project has come to pass because of collaboration, joint conscious cooperative effort on the part of different individuals. I've noticed something as a technology developer. For a technology to see the light of day, there's got to be a joint conscious cooperative effort amongst the people, participants concerned. Scientists and technologists got to work together in unity, in humility, and in love. There's got to be some ethical considerations being placed in the foray in order for a scientific discovery to be successful, in order for a technological breakthrough to see the light of day, to get to the hands of the end users, to add value to the lives of people world over. So it is very important for unity, for cooperation, to really be at the forefront. It's not enough that we have knowledge and we have intelligence. We've got to learn to work together as a team. We got to learn to cooperate, to make things happen. These are some key lessons that we can draw, even from my personal experience as a technology developer. Before I let you go, I would like to really say one or two things from some key observations. Earlier on, I made it clear to you that we are very passionate in seeing the actualization of the growth, development, maturation, and sustainability of science and technology in third world countries. Looking at the black race, for example, we see wonderful contributions in the arts, also in the sciences. However, in the area of the sciences, the percentage or the number of black people contributing immensely to the growth and development of science and technology has not gotten to that critical mass, in my opinion, sincerely speaking. I tend to ask myself, why is it so? It's important that we look into this because the black race makes a huge chunk of the third world emerging economies. Why is it so? I've lived with black people in different parts of the world, in the Caribbean, in Europe, in North America, and obviously here in Nigeria and West Africa. I've observed one or two things, and I think I can say one or two things based on my observations as to why it is so. My opinions are mine, my humble opinions. However, as a black man, I think I can share my heart to you, my black brothers and sisters, and also to other people other, of other races, Caucasians, the yellow race, ETC, in a bid to see how we can really work together, to see that there's a change, not only for the good of black people, but also for the good of other races. Because really we are all in this together. We share a common humanity. We are brothers and sisters, children on the go. From my observation, I think one of the reasons why the number or percentage of black people involved in science and technology has not reached a critical mass is that of unity and cooperation. Again, I want to say I speak sincerely. This is kind of a sensitive issue 
to some people. However, I want to bear my heart out to you. We gotta make a way for we gotta forge a way forward for the good of all. I speak sincerely in love. Unity, cooperation. In order for solid world emerging economies in Africa to see that there's growth and development in science and technology, the scientists and the technologists and all the people, all the interested parties, the government, non-governmental organizations, individuals, family members, etc., have to learn to work together in unity. There's got to be that support, that emotional, psychological support for scientists and technologists. That desire to give a pat on the back, to cheer up the scientists and technologists, and to say, go on brother, I wish you well in your work. Don't say things like, oh, it can't happen. We can't do it. Then scientists and technologists in the field should stop the bickering and the fightings. Let's work together. Let's be united. Let's be focused. We can make it happen.